Hello everyone. I'm starting a new video series that's going to kind of cover in Arduino uh, environment, uh, including some hardware more in depth. So I wanted to start off with uh, the IDE environment, which I really find annoying. And one of the ways I've overcome that, um, I think about a year ago, I found a really good plugin to give the Arduino functionality inside Sublime Text. If you're not familiar with Sublime Text, I highly recommend you give it a try, especially when you're developing a lot of code. There's a lot of plugins for it, and it has a lot of features that make uh, code development really, really good, um, especially when you're coming from the Arduino IDE. First of all, you have like quick scroll bar and quick preview of your code over here on the right, and some of the added features, such as if you create a new function here, we'll just uh, do a void new function it'll automatically close out the parentheses as well as your brackets which is a huge time consuming feature and it has a lot of little features like that which uh, make it the code development um, a lot easier and uh, less time consuming really uh, just from the code sense line numbering just for being easier on your eyes and having uh, better themes um, I mean you can just tell this is pretty harsh on your eyes whereas this is a lot easier to manipulate and code with um, there's a lot of other things but anyways let's uh, go ahead and get into some more of the details of this the first thing you will want to do is download the newest version of sublime text it's uh, pretty much cross-platform and you won't really notice any difference between Linux OS uh, 10 or um, Windows so basically the just pick it for whichever version you'd like and then go with that install it and then the next thing you'll need is a package called Steno um, this is from Robot Will and he's really active on this project and takes pretty good care of it I find the easiest way to install it is to click the download zip um, open it up and then you'll want to come into the sublime text folder or window excuse me open up the preferences browse packages then once you have that window open you want to just go ahead and copy this in here now I have some markdown stuff in here for uh, doing readmes on github and uh, other stuff so when you have other plugins you may find it's easier just to go straight from their repo on github and just uh, drop them into the packages folder and then sometimes you have to reboot sublime text most of the time it seems to pick up everything once you put that in you'll have all the arduino functionality some other tricks i do is i keep most of my development stuff inside of a Dropbox, Dropbox folder. That way, depending on which platform I'm on, whether it's OS X, Linux, or Windows, I have access to all the basic same uh, code bases. On top of that, I also have my uh, main code that I really need to keep and uh, track I store that on GitHub and control it with Git. So it's pretty important that you learn how to use Git and it'll save you a lot of hassle if you don't know how to use it. Just the version and control alone will help um, everything, especially when you start get better at using it and actually have a GitHub repo. It'll make your life a lot easier. Um, my next video will probably actually be covering how we'll start a new project. Um, create the repo on github using the site and then use command line tools to basically do everything to push that up and then create a branch but anyways let's go into some more of the preferences after you install the arduino package you need to set where your arduino folder is because it needs to still find avr dude and the avr gcc compiler it also will want to know where your sketchbook folder is so you point it to your Dropbox or wherever your Arduino um, sketches are and then you also point where your Arduino install is. I happen to keep my own uh, builds of it 
So I'll point them to my latest build, and then if I have problems with compiling or something like that, I can go back to an older build or something like that. But it, it's basically at that point how you decide if you use the base Arduino, you you just download it, and then you would point Steno right towards that. After that, you have all the functionality. You can verify, compile. You have a serial monitor or serial port, and... Um, like I said, you'll have much better uh, ability to write code and it'll be easier on you and you'll probably find it more enjoyable. I thought I'd start this tutorial series on this to make it a little bit easier for people. I see a lot of people developing in the Arduino IDE and that must drive them mad, so I wanted to give them some options. Um, I hope you found this video helpful and if you did and you want to see more, Please uh, leave your feedback in the comments and give me a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next tutorial on how to start a startup project and use Git to uh, push it up to GitHub. And uh, thanks for watching. Bye.